Thanks for joining us. 42-year-old Jeff McClintock died after his new motorcycle crashed into a van last Thursday. He was just learning how to ride, and the cause of the crash is still under investigation. This week, CTN's Joe Nelson talked to his wife, who has a message for other riders. Spring is here, bringing thousands of motorcycles out of hibernation. At their Coon Rapids home, Jeff McClintock's wife Cheryl says he was hoping to have a new summer hobby. She says Jeff was riding his new motorcycle for practice last Thursday in the parking lot. One of the tenants told me that witnessed it, that he heard this loud popping noise. The engine revved up real high and just took off and Jeff had no control of the bike and that he had just hit it and flew off of it. Jeff crashed into a parked van, was knocked unconscious and suffered severe head trauma and broken bones before being rushed to the hospital. Cheryl followed close behind. The doctor came out and said, I'm sorry, we can't do any surgery because there's too much bleeding in the brain and that his leg was bleeding too bad too. So they didn't want to do anything with him that, that they were just going to have to let him go. Oh, you're kind of in shock and you don't know how, you don't know how to really react. Cheryl says she believes a throttle cable problem may have contributed to the crash that took his life. He was outgoing, friendly. He always made sure somebody had something to eat. But it's what her husband of eight months didn't have that won't escape her mind. He wasn't wearing a helmet. And I don't know why he took off around here without a helmet. They need to take it easy when they first get that bike out because we all forget sometimes exactly, you know, safety, which should be first and obviously wearing a helmet. The gentleman in this case sadly was not wearing a helmet, which, which may have uh, saved his life. Cheryl says she hopes other riders, especially new ones, will make safety a priority. I would hope they would see how imp the importance of wearing that helmet and you know your all of the leather jacket or whatever to protect you because this can happen to anyone. We reached out to the Harley Davidson dealership in Blaine which had no comment on the incident. Jeff who donated his organs had no life insurance. A GoFundMe page has been set up to help his family with expenses. We have a link on our website ctncoonrapids.com. Stephen Karen. What a sad story. Yep, hopefully more people will learn to, to drive safe. Mm -hmm. Thank Thanks, Joe. Joe.